Josh, I just wanted to maybe touch on uh, on uh, Evan Bouchard. I mean, first game in the AHL on Tuesday, uh, obviously had a pretty significant night with three points. What did you see out of the defenseman and what he brings to the decor? Just a lot of poise and confidence out there. He doesn't get flustered. I mean, for his first American League game and for it to be in the playoffs, for him to have three points, I think it just shows that, you know, the Oilers got a good one in him. And, yeah, I mean, he's a hell of a player. And, and just to come in and to play like that, like your first game, show no nerves or or anything like that was uh, was really impressive. And I was just impressed with how he gets a shot through. He doesn't get a block, and he just seems to make the right play and a simple play. He's played at uh, essentially four different levels this season, the NHL, the AHL, Major Junior, and also at the World Juniors. Do you see that maybe kind of in his fabric, in his game, just having that cool, calm demeanor out there like he's been there before? Yeah, I mean, he's not phased, that's for sure, out there. He doesn't get phased by anything. And, and yeah, he's played in, in every league, so... That definitely is, is good for his confidence, but uh, yeah, I mean, out there he just shows poise, poise and confidence, and, and that's huge, you know, to be a player in this league. And he's gonna have a, a bright future in the NHL for and sure. We were kind of just looking at his stick too. It's, his stick is literally taller than me. Uh, so, what do you see? How well he uses a, a stick, uh, you know, of that length, because it's a little bit longer than usual. Yeah, no, it, it is long for sure, but uh, it's always in the right spot for him, uh, and it, it works for him. And he's got a, he's got one heck of a shot too with it. So. But, uh, yeah, he just always got the stick in the right spot, denying lanes, uh, taking away, uh, you know, things for the, the other team's forwards. And, yeah, he does a great job with it. So if it's working, might as well keep it. Uh, Josh, this year line specifically has felt the effects of some stingy checking on the part of Colorado. But it seems like things are opening up as the series has kind of continued here. What can you say about just yourself and Tyler and uh, Cooper as well and how you guys have kind of opened up a little bit more as the series going yeah, I mean, for sure, the playoffs, there's less time and space, and I think we're really starting to notice that now. We're getting, uh, you know, some tough matchups on the def with the defensive pairings and even their kind of their third line checking line, but we just got to fight through that. We know that nothing's going to be easy and there's, you know, nothing's going to be given to us out there. We got to earn it, and it's been a little frustrating not, not getting on the, the scoreboard or, or score sheet as much as we, we're kind of familiar with, but that's all part of it, and we just got to keep working. And uh, I know that we're going we're gonna to get our chances. We just got to keep going and, and can't get frustrated. What do you say when you see a guy like Tyler Benson you know, who, who wants to put up some points and, and get kind of creative and nifty at the goal line? He puts the stick between his legs, gets a shot off like that, and then Cooper going up ice and kind of dangling his way through some defensemen. Just when you see that creativity. They're just, yeah, like I tell them, like they're, they're really good hockey players. Uh, they don't need to get down on themselves if things aren't going their way. I mean, they're going to they're gonna create chances. You look at their numbers as rookies in this league, and it's, it's really impressive. And, and I just try to create space for them and let them do them thing. But, uh, yeah, they're uh, two extremely good hockey players. I'm fortunate enough to play with them. And uh, just got to keep going. I mean, nothing, like I said, it's, it's, nothing's easy out there. So we just got to keep working, and hopefully things go our way. And I know you're sporting the Shiner. What can you say just about how physical it's been, and especially last game? Yeah, it's, it's been tough. They got some big guys that like to throw their weight around, and they got some guys that play with uh, some meanness and toughness. But uh, that's what playoff hockey's all about. And he's got to go out and kind of battle through it and uh, just keep going. Can't get frustrated or can't get off your game, and just it's all part of it. Uh, Josh, what are you guys going to do sure. on uh, Saturday night just to put this thing away and just maybe get that extra day off? Because obviously if you win on Saturday, you don't have to play on Sunday. You don't have to play games on Saturday. Just the same uh, same recipe as Tuesday, I, I think. I think we were, we were just tenacious. We were really uh, hired on the puck, getting pucks behind them. And we didn't give them any time or space. And I think it kind of showed in you know how many shots we gave up or how many chances we allowed. So if we're just strong in our own zone and kind of keep that tenacity and that hard forward check and take away you know, their time and space, I think we'll be just fine. But we got to expect a hard push from them. You know, they're on the brink of elimination, so they're definitely, you know, probably uh, getting a good week of practice in, and they're going to be ready. So we just got to make sure we can uh, we can match their intensity. It's been two different starts for you in the last two games. In game two, they scored in the opening two minutes. In game three, you guys didn't allow a shot in the first 17 minutes. Does that kind of just reinvigorate and reinforce how important these starts are in these playoff games? Yeah, for sure. And like you said, I mean, whoever the team has scored first has gone on to win the game and kind of kind of shut it down. So we know the start's going to be huge and. And we know that uh, Saturday at Robble Bank, it, it's going to be a, a wild atmosphere, and we're really looking forward to, to playing in front of the home fans. But, yeah, when that puck drops, we've got to be ready to go because, like I said, they're on the brink of elimination, and they're, you know, they're playing for their lives. So uh, we just got to make sure we're ready.